You're watching the Daily Analysis Report by FinancialMirror.tv. Equity markets continue to trade sideways, but with a downside bias, waiting for a new direction or a new trigger, which could come from automakers with the three biggest U.S. auto companies desperately pleading for cash. GM said it would seek $10 to $12 billion in loans if Congress makes $25 billion available. Ford said it would ask for $7 to $8 billion, and Chrysler says it would seek about $7 billion in aid. U.S. Treasury Secretary Paulson, meanwhile, continues to signal reservations about tapping the $700 billion pool to aid them. If Congress delays an auto bailout, then expect the ramifications on the economy as well as banks to be significant. Additionally, it is clear that even $25 billion will not be enough to settle the auto sector's problems. Millions of layoffs would follow their demise, the big three said, as damaging effects rippled across an already faltering economy. But we have to agree with Paulson and Congress that the administration has to draw a line as to who qualifies for the bailout plan. The objective of the $700 billion package is to reinstate confidence in the interbank market and among banks so that they may start lending again. As Senator Mike Enzi pointed out, the financial crisis is not the reason why the domestic auto industry is in trouble. He cited inefficient production and cost labor agreements that put the U.S. automakers at a disadvantage to foreign companies. GM's CEO said failure of the auto industry would be catastrophic, resulting in 3 million jobs lost within the first year, and economic devastation would far exceed the government support that industry needs. However, lawmakers are right to point to the automakers to seek Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, as have some airlines that later emerge restructured and leaner. Could it be that the automakers are not confident that they will manage to successfully emerge from bankruptcy? There could be a breakthrough by Thursday, but it will be interesting to see how the stock market reacts to such a development. With or without an aid package, one thing that is sure is that the auto industry will be proceeding with more job redundancies, a development that will have a negative impact on consumer spending ahead of the crucial Christmas season. Less money spent by consumers means lower sales, lower profits, and lower valuations. It would appear that more pain is in store. Meanwhile, it was revealed that Bank of England policymakers considered lowering interest rates by a whopping 200 basis points before settling for a much smaller 150 basis point cut to 3% at their November 6 meeting. This can only mean further re reductions are in store when policymakers again meet in December. Bank of America economists expect a further 100 basis point cut to 2% at the December meeting. The British government is expected to announce broad measures to help business and families cope with the economic downturn in the pre-budget report next week. Depending on the size of any fiscal boost to the economy, that will reduce the need for further interest rate cuts from 2009 onwards. Thank you for watching financialmirror.tv.